had a happy ending. What happens if sad ending? I cry happy, sad. Princess crowned Elizabeth in sight of her son Charles. Someday will be king. Elizabeth, Queen of England. Can he find to talk about for an hour and a half? Ma. What are you doing the rest of your life? North and south and east and west of your life. I have only one request of your life. That you spend it all with me. All the seasons and the times of your days. All the nickels and the dimes of your days Let the reasons and the rhymes of your days All begin and end with me I want to see your face in every kind of light In fields of dawn and forests of the night And when you stand on the cake. Oh, let me be the one to hear the silent wish you make. Those tomorrows waiting deep in your eyes. In the world of love you keep in your eyes. I'll awaken what's asleep in your eyes. It may take a kiss or two Through all of my life Summer, winter, spring and fall of my life All I ever will recall of my life Is all of my life With Edwin you Lang. What did I say? That you loved me all this time, that's all you heard? Love me. Tell my boy, what's your racket? Profession. I'm a tax consultant. I help clients keep some of their money. Sounds crooked. Think a lawyer would do anything illegal? Oh, <laughs> you would. And have. With me. We're totally and gorgeously immoral. Then why don't I feel guilty? Because people in love are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least crazy people can't be held responsible. Well, for safety's sake, we ought to be put in an institution. Marriage. Life imprisonment? For what we, just for what we've been doing? Oh, don't you want to live happily ever after? <laughs>
headlines as of January 22nd, 1969. Washington. On his first working day in the White House, President Nixon said he would use a small hideaway for brain work. London. Plans were announced for Prince Charles to be invested as Prince of Wales. Sixteen years ago, he watched his mother crowned Queen of England. Weather in downtown Denver, 37 degrees. In a moment, your daily health program. Morning. How do you feel? Start my eggs for me, will you, darling? Hey. I love you. Come to where the flavor is. Famous Marlboro Red or new Marlboro 100s, the Longhorns. Come to Marlboro Country. Good morning, ladies. 7.30 and time for our trip to God's Fountain of Youth. You know, it's a beautiful day because we're alive. So let's count our blessings. Ready to face the day? Good. Remember, love is beauty. Love is eternal. Love is organic. If your insides are right, your outsides can't be wrong. You know in your heart that exercise is a thing for you. That's why you have the best food right here. First thing we're going to do is fill our lungs with clean, fresh air. Now, lady, you can't do it sitting in the chair smoking. Now. Fill up your lungs. Inhale as much as you can. Inhale. Hold it. More. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Let it out. Shh. <coughs> Fine. Now let's go. Twenty times. All right. Fill up those lungs. Inhale. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. That's it. Hold it. Let it out. Once again. Inhale. Let it out. I'll get it, now, Mom. Admit, you feel better already, don't you? Once again, inhale through the nose. Huh? Hold it. More, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Let it out. Shh. How'd you sleep last night? Did you need a sleeping pill? You all tensed up? You headachey? Oh, tired? Nervous? Once again. Not tonight. Well, there's this party. My parents' umpteenth wedding anniversary. I don't know. It's got to be at least their 16th enlist. <laughs> I don't think they had the pill in those prehistoric days. Morning, Daddy. How's my girl? Don't forget about tonight. Mm-hmm. I'm listening. Suze? Anyway, I got to be here tonight. Because at last year's party, oh, brother, you think you got problems. I can't talk about it. Yeah. It's pretty tough raising parents nowadays. Listen, I gotta go. My ride's here. Your horoscope says for you to stay away from problems during the a.m. and be happy in the evening. Does it say how? Don't those pills get you all hopped up? Hopped up? Calm down. I'm late. It's Harry Bricker today. Maybe. Makes you slender, young, satisfied, and dreary dull. Why don't we sneak away, find a sleazy motel, act suspicious, give false names, and do it in sin? It's not a sin if you're married. If we didn't come to our own party, everybody think there was something wrong. There's nothing wrong. Not anymore. Tonight we'll show them why an anniversary is called happy. At midnight, we'll toast it with champagne, one glass to a customer. It's important for Marge, too, you know. Oh, if you get the feeling, you know, call me. And stay busy, have lunch out, see a movie or your mother or something, and think only beautiful thoughts.
Oh, Agnes. Morning, Mr. Wilson. Morning. That cake will be delivered about five. I want you to make the fruit punch. What do you want it spiked with? Fruit. With that crown? Agnes. Fruit. Mrs. Wilson seems kind of edgy. So if she gets depressed, phone me. And if she leaves the house... Likewise. She's got a little something stashed in the bedroom. Not that she'd use it. Oh, she hasn't. But if she locks herself in the bedroom... Trouble. So keep an eye on her. The FBI never sleeps. Are you all right, Miss Wilson? Fine. I just popped some heroin and taken the gas pipe. You? I could use a double vodka. Help yourself. Pretty, ain't it? Like one of them fire boxes. Break glass only in case of emergency. We got us a four alarm panic? Nope. How about a double mill town instead? Coming up. Happy days. Got my secret orders from the chief. You can't even go pee-pee alone without I have to quit phone him. You taking me down to headquarters? I'm going to give you a break, sister. Take it on the lamb. Disappear yourself down to the beauty parlor. Let them fairy godmothers wave their magic wand. Let them pamper your top and massage your bottom. Because tonight, baby, you're queen of the ball. Oh, I don't deserve you. Oh, honey, all us girls over 35 got the same trouble. Bricker advertising. Mr. Bricker? Thank you. I'll see if he's in. Just a moment, please. $15,000 contribution to the church every year. That's quite a bite. All right. You own a part interest in the laundry. You invested $6,000. According to your books, it's worth $18,000. Now, why don't you donate that interest to a church? It's tax deductible to you, and it gives them a yearly income. Church? In the laundry business? Mm -hmm. What a slogan. Let the church clean your dirty linen. Oh, I like that. Terrific, terrific. Bricker advertising. Mrs. Bricker. Yes? Uh, I'll tell Mr. Bricker you're waiting. Uh, Miss Bruce. Girls, he'll be with you in a moment. What makes a woman? Mr. Wilson's I like phone, that. extension four. Uh, it's your home. Something about the FBI. Mrs. Bricker insists on seeing you. I saw her this morning. I'll have to see her again tonight. I'm busy. Agnes, where does she go? Do you have that number there? Helen. Uh, <laughs> long time no see. Yeah. Hmm. Smells like a... Wild and shameful. Atta girl. Always use your husband's product. It's the only thing about him that stands up. Mrs. Bricker, <laughs> I'm sorry, but he... I know. He's, he's busy. You busy, too? Most married men would rather switch than fight. Happy anniversary, darling. Is Mrs. Wilson there, please? Mr. 
Mrs. Wilson. Mr. Wilson. Oh. Hi. How'd you find me? He's a mind reader. God forbid. Hey, did I tell you today that I love you? husband loves me. We all have our cross to bear, sweetie. That's right, ma'am. No passport is required or visa. Excursion fare round trip Denver, New York, New York, Nassau is $257. Well, how much one way? Um... One hundred and seventy-six dollars, credit card or cash. I'll be back. Hi, Mother. Hello, darling. <laughs> Did you bring it? Mm -hmm. I don't think I've been here since... when your father was still with us. On our honeymoon. I don't believe I ever saw the lobby. Well. Well, I like your hairdo. Michael? Can I have the money, please? I've got something for you on approval. Mama. For your anniversary. I haven't got time. I want you to see it before Fred. You told him. Oh, Mama. really need that two hundred dollars. You could... Would you write a check? Please, Mama. Sorry. Mary, I'm sorry, Fred. You said you'd ask for money. Maybe if you told him why you'd need the money. Can you tell me? Would it make any difference? Then what's the difference? Nice merchandise. Thank you. $180. Hmm? Oh, uh, let me see. Please, lady. Yes or no? <laughs> no aggravation. <laughs> lady, no wedding rings, please. Who wants to buy someone else's heartache? Okay? Jeff. Ho hold it, Mr. Wilson. Hello? You alone? The chief's calling on the hotline. Go ahead. I got him short-circuited. Gotcha. Gotcha. Hello? Was that Mrs. Wilson calling? Where was she calling from? The phone. Funny. Very funny. Now, damn it, Agnes. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, I heard you, sir. You're coming in loud and clear. Roger, 10-4. Over and out. Oh, uh, Alice, try the red ram for me, will you please? What's happened to you? I just think you're the most human being. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Red Ram. This is Charlie. You're talking about your wife. Your wife. Hold it, Mr. Wilson. Maybe it'd be both best for both of us if we called it off and stop seeing each other. No, sir. She hasn't been here. Must be five, six months. Yes, sir. I have your number. You understand that, don't you? Thanks, Charlie. Usual? I love her for being... You look fine, Mrs. Wilson. Real fine. Do you need glasses, Charlie? Oh, Liz. I just don't know if I can keep this up. I, I just can't seem to believe her. Oh, what? What do you want me to do with this? He's hooked on them cereals. He needs one. One's too many, a million's not enough. You do not have to stay with her if you want to stay with her. You know, we've been together a year. I haven't been out with anyone else. I don't see anyone. I live just for you. You have at least intimated that you wanted to get married, that you were going to leave your wife. You said you didn't love her, that she didn't love you, that you had no reason for staying with her, that I was all you wanted in the whole world, just me. Just me. <laughs> hey there, Charlie. The usual? Just the blood. Skip the Mary. Charlie? Or the gentleman? What's the matter with it? I'll find out for myself. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow <sighs> for the next episode of the Big Lace Makeup, Lace. perfume, lace nighties. Shoes, pills for everything, and whatever you're looking for, I hope you find it. We'll go over tonight at the party. Oh, and Bert, this time, no cracks about marriage, okay? One moment, please. Okay. Well, all right. Oh, boy. I wish I could afford to insult that creep. Mr. Wilson, the health club on uh, two. Hello. Would you page her, please? Just a moment, please. Paging Mary Wilson. Oh, Mrs. Wilson. Paging Mary Wilson. Hi, honey. How'd it turn out? Aren't they gorgeous? Silicone. No lumps, no scars. 39 dreamy inches. Do you think it's dishonest? Hell no. Oh, God, I can't wait to try them up. It is dishonest. No more than makeup, false eyelashes, wigs, padded bras, or a hundred other things. Who cares if it helps her get a man? Or keep the man she's got? Fred Wilson. Poor guy. Mary hasn't been here. Anywhere since. Since what? Since what? Since Fred took away her credit cards, checking account, the works. My God, why? I hope it isn't serious. The hell you don't. You bitch. What's the matter with her? We all got the same problem, kid. I got no problem. Then what are you doing here? Look at us. Zombies killing time till we can go home and kill more time. All I said was oh, shut up and play. Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? And the mirror replied. O oh, queen, thou hast a beauty rare. But Snow White, the prince's bride, is still more fair. The queen hit the mirror, and it broke into a million pieces. 
And the wicked stepmother dropped down dead. Right. Snow White and the prince lived happily ever after. And that's good night. I want a drink of water. Good night, Mother. Good night, Daddy. Mommy, what happens when you get married? Plenty. Now, good night. Why do all the stories end after married? Like Snow White, Cinderella, and Sleeping Beauty? They all get married and that's the end. No. They live happily ever after. And that's the end. <laughs> when people love each other very, very much, there is no end. But, Mommy... Good night. Cocktail? Cocktail? Um, is it midnight anywhere? Must be, someplace. I'd say the west coast of Africa. Casablanca. Probably. Tomato juice, please. In a champagne glass. You've been to Casablanca. In the movie. Miss? Oh, thank you. Is everybody happy? Well, yeah. yeah. Al. Oh, yeah. You remember? Al. From Cheyenne. Well, if Jesus was a Jew, does that make God a Jew, too? Five and a half years. Fantastic. God. Speaking existentially. Sex after marriage. What do you think, Barry? It's something everyone has to go through. <laughs> yeah, I've got to go to the Congratulations. Oh, I'm so proud. I was saying that marriage is a kind of fulfilling Me looking 30 and Harry thinking dirty. Who cares? <laughs> if you're a writer, you've got to meet my wife. I'm not a writer. Perfect. Helen no doesn't read. You're made for each other. She'll remind you of the war. I've never been in the war. Terrific. <laughs> then you'll enlist. <laughs> class, huh? Class. Baby, that's one thing you've got. And that's class. <laughs> you ought to know you've pinched every acre of it. Hey, don't go away. Helen will eat you alive. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a pleasure, Helen. Mary, that's why. Sorry? Was he kidding about his wife? He was kidding. I just got into town, and your husband said that... Drop in any old time. <laughs> I suppose I ought to know you. All of Fred's clients are either famous, infamous, rich, or about to get rich. Which one are you? I suppose I'm not a client. Oh, you wouldn't be here. Only clients are invited. Friends aren't deductible. Yeah. Fred says it's just as easy to be friendly with a client as with someone you like. See? Oh, you think everything 
Sometimes a swindle, even marriage. Especially marriage. Well, you've been divorced twice, so you're not a fair judge. <laughs> Neither are you. You haven't been married even once. <laughs> Watch it, Reverend. They say it's better to burn than to marry. Uh, well, I believe the saying is, it's better to marry than burn. No married man would say that. Uh, it was said by God. A bachelor. He had the goods on me. No kids, no divorce. She doesn't even see her own children. I used to. It was worse than not seeing them at all. That's awful. Isn't that awful? Awful. Also a relief. Oh? That's okay. She's not my wife. Aspirin, Bufferin, Anison, Emperin, etc. Cody. Want me to stay a while? Milltown. Everybody happy? Must be. Everybody's kissing somebody. Oh, party kissing's not serious. Oh, only fatal. My first husband was a terrific kisser. He was a terrible lover. Maybe what a man feels isn't really love. Oh, shit. What a man loves most of all is his damn automobile. <laughs> now, why is that? He can always trade it in for a new model. <laughs> Tell her. Tell her. Oh, it's a fact. She can't afford to marry you or alimony would stop. So we'll just have to send and bear it. <laughs> all those relatives I support, can't you find a tax gimmick to get them off my back? To be honest, no. I didn't ask you to be honest. I want you to save me money. <laughs> hey! Hey, I love you. Remember now, you promise no drinking. Go! Promise. Let's go! What's the secret? The key? The formula? Don't you have any respect for statistics? American married people are 32% divorced and 68% miserable. Oh, I know you believe in family, love, God, chewing gum, but married 15 years to the same person. What, what are you both cowards? Or what, huh? I ever saw anyone go to the bathroom in the dark. It's the first time I ever saw anyone drink perfume. Bottle by Rossoff, vodka by Smirnoff. Keeps you breathless while it stops the clock. Let's see now, you're Mrs. Uh, <laughs> ex Mrs. Are all divorcees gay? <laughs> Depends on the alimony. In your case? A uh, tray gay. Your talented husband handled the divorce. Now, he handles my assets. I bet he does. You won't believe this, but he saved my life. In Reno, I was getting unhitched. My ex was trying to bitch up the settlement. I phoned Fred in a panic, absolute panic. He flew out to Reno that night, saved my life, so help me. Fred's an expert at artificial respiration, especially mouth to mouth. Um, how much of that stuff does it take to um, stop the clock? Less than enough, you're climbing the wall. Too much. Lotto. But if you've got that magic touch, I once lost a whole month that way, between drinking. I looked up. Gone. Lovely. Lovely floating time. Can 
Good night, Mary. Oxnardian theory. Good night, Fred. Good night. See you next year. Same time, same place. Same event? Yep. Did you hear the one about the tax collector? Fred's a great guy. He's great. The life of the party. Yep. You know, when you. Well, oh, good night. Harry! Now, there is a woman with classic beauty. No class. She loves you. Thank you for coming. Love was invented by poets. Love is something we talk about. Sex is what we do. Harry! Oh, hey. Let's all go to Charlie's place for a night, huh? How about it, Freddy? Come on, don't let the party end oh, up. Oh, no, it's too late. I gotta go home, honey. You are home, honey. Good night. Good night. Good night. Say something, baby. Anything. No matter what shape your stomach's in, when it gets out of shape, take Alka-Seltzer. What were you before? What did you do and what did you think, huh? We said no questions. Here's looking at you, kid. Franzosen, I do one up on Paris. Franzosen, I do one up on Paris. With the whole world crumbling, we think there's time to fall in love. Yeah, it's pretty bad timing. Where were you, say, ten years ago? Ten years ago? Let's see. Yes, I was having a brace put on my teeth. Is that can on fire? Or is it my heart pounding? Have a nice time? Okay. Where'd you go? Drove around. Stay and talk a while. Talk about what? 
anything. No. Daddy? Daddy? Hello, lover. You missed a great party. Are you all right? Just fine. I... Hey. Hey, what's wrong, kid? I love you so much. And I hate this war so much. Oh, it's a crazy world. Anything can happen. If you shouldn't get away. I mean, if... If something should keep us apart. Kiss me. Kiss me as if it were the last time. He is looking at you, kid. Johnson's peace plan snubbed by Hanoi. The sports world still in shock over UCLA's basketball defeat by Houston. Mamba, two-ton rhinoceros... You know what time it is? ...gave birth to 40-pound baby girl. Japanese students protest visit of nuclear power... Please, come to bed. ...enterprise. Complete details of these and other stories, Denver weather and livestock reports in a moment. Meanwhile, here's a message... Back to our late, late show, Casablanca. I've seen that a hundred times. We'll miss the news. Honey. News. The news is here. Us. You and me in that no man's land you call bed. I'm not complaining. And you ought to. I'm satisfied. You couldn't be. Not after what it used to be. What do you expect it to be after 15 years? Not what it is. Whatever it is, I love you. We're not in love. We just make love. And damn little of that. And then it's kiss, kiss, groan and twitch. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Why don't you scream it out the window? Marge have to know. She knows. It's a kid, for Christ. It's no. Okay, okay, now cool it, will you? I'm against cool. I can't talk to you. Because we got nothing to say to each other. Before we married, you never stopped talking. Now you talk only to clients. March talks only to the telephone. The only people who ever talk to me are the television and an Agnes. That's drunk talk. Oh, I got a big day tomorrow. Doing what? Training for those two hours, six martini lunches, goosing topless waitresses? And a happy anniversary to you, too. And that all year round electric tan. Phony! Smile your uncandid camera to prove we're happy. Phony! All those lousy plaques on the wall. Best man of the week, best Christian of the month in Denver. Phony! I don't even know a real Christian. Not one! If we had to live 24 Christian hours, we'd go insane. Phony, phony, phony! What about you? And what are you? Joan of Arc on a bender? What about you? I'm nothing at all. Zero. You're one thing for sure, drunk. Not yet. Where the hell are you going? Back to Casablanca, back to Humphrey Bogart, Peter Laurie, and Claude Rains. Dead, dead, dead. Dead and buried. They're more alive than we are. Flight doesn't leave until 9.45 in the morning. Uh, excuse me. Paging Mr. Paul McClure or Mr. Bob Foster. Would you please call 4830, Mr. Paul McClure or Mr. Bob Foster? Long distance, please. Good night, Fred. See you do solemnly soon. swear. Okay. I, Richard Billhouse Nixon, do solemnly swear. That you will faithfully execute the office and I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. Of President of the United States. And will to the best of your ability. And will to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend. 
preserve, protect, and defend oh, the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. <laughs> Wilson residence. Marge. Just a minute, please. Marge. For you, Mrs. Wilson. Mary? Hello? Long distance. Yes, yes, operator. Of course we'll accept the charges. Hello? Mary. Are you all right? I get your drink? No. Cigarette? Mm -mm. Then rummy, scrabble, 20 questions? Fred. For God's sake, let's go home. they noticed. It's your party. You're the only one not here. Why are you calling? You didn't want me to worry. Well, your tender concern is about six hours too late. You're thinking what over? What's there to think over? And why the hell do you have to go to New York to think? Hey, you crying for them? For us. I'll cry to that. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry is about the sorriest word ever said in a marriage. She meeting in New York. She said she was going to Nassau. Alone? I don't believe it. Nobody goes that far to a strange place without money, without... I don't believe it. Mother came all the way from Ireland, alone. All she had was hope. Parties. Drunk parties are grotesque, stupid. Sober parties are worse. When the phone rang, it scared me. It must have scared them, too. They ran out like the house was coming down. Like when you were away. And I found Mama called the ambulance. She tried to kill herself. She didn't. Why? It was an accident. And then why isn't she here? Is that an accident, too? Hold it. She doesn't care about us. Hold it. She doesn't love us. Stop it, I said. Your mother loved you before you were born. Before she knew what you'd look like or what you'd become. She loves you in a hundred ways nobody else can. Nobody. Not the man you marry, not your own children. Not even me. Remember that all your life. She loves you. She loves you too? Yes. Then why'd she run out on us? Maybe we ran out on her. Long time. 
time ago. Our cabin altitude is controlled, and should it change, an oxygen mask will be automatically released from the back compartment of a seat in front of you. Extinguish all cigarettes immediately, pull mask towards you, then place it over your face, covering your nose and mouth as your stewardess is now demonstrating. Breathe as you normally would until you're advised that the masks are no longer needed. And this is your captain speaking. <laughs> First trip to Nassau? Blue. Well, look at here. This must be my lucky day. Beat it. To old times. God, yes. Times. How long's it been? Class of 53. What were we? The Aspirin age or the anxiety age? The stone age. <laughs> What's the secret formula? Why do you look 28 and I'm afraid to look in the mirror? Power, baby. Well, there's white power, green power, black power, electric horse and man power. <laughs> I've got staying power. I've been massaged, barraged, creamed and reamed with every slop and go on the market. <laughs> I've tried the yogi bit, yin and yang, bip and bang, the works. You name it, I've done it. All in the name of youth and beauty. God knows I've even prayed for it. Baby, there's one big difference between us. You got married. You still with the same man? Same wonderful man. Kids? One. Oh, she's a beauty. That helps. Family holiday. Hello? Where are you staying? No reservation? This time of year? That desperate, huh? Oh, baby, baby. What'd you do? Catch him cheating? Oh, no. Did he punch you around? <laughs> he never laid a glove on me. Let's see. He's, uh, he's impotent. No. Sex maniac? No. Perverted? No. Stingy. <laughs> it's his mother. <laughs> oh, it's nothing serious. It's just. Nothing that happens between a man and a woman is just. I can't live with him, and I can't live without it. What's the matter with me? Why can't I love the man I love? Ladies and gentlemen, we are arriving at Nassau. Kindly remain seated until we have... If you want to leave yourself behind Looking for a place to just unwind With a balmy breeze to clear your mind Hurry up and hurry down Hurry to a land of swing and sway Just a little nip and nap away Hurry to a world where you can stay Out of touch and out of town Better hurry up, better hurry down Sun's here, fun's here. You can live it up while you live it down any time of year. If your life is getting out of hand, sit and think it over on the sand. Things are better looking when they're tanned. Hurry up and hurry down. Never question the cost. Never mind what the neighbors say. Tell the boss to get lost. You pack a bag today. <laughs> All I ever 
want it was to love and be loved. Is that all? It's only everything. Uh, what'll I do? For one thing, stop crying. Oh, but it feels so good. Splinter well, cried everything. Even nothing. That's one comfort I can't afford, not in my trade. If there's one thing a man won't tolerate, it's a crying mistress. He gets that at home. I know. In the past ten years, I've been the other woman to... three. Three married men. Sam, he's number four. Doesn't it break up their home? Baby, you can't break up a home that isn't already cracked. Do you feel a victim of routine? Do you have a snap you'd like to clean? Can I help you, Mr. Trasker? Yes, take care of these cables, please. This one is from Mrs. Wilson and Mr. Wilson in Denver, Colorado. Yes, sir. This cable to my office in New York. Yes, sir. Nice to see you again, Miss Thank Harry. You. Right now, she needs beachwear, and then later on, the works. Hello, I can charge it as usual. How's everything? Okay. Your kids? The same. The missus? The same. How was Christmas? The same. Thanks for the present. Thanks for being nice to Mary. I haven't seen her since college. Six months before graduation, she drops out to get married. Well, isn't that why girls go to college? Didn't you? I'll bet you could have had any man in college. I did. Practically all of them. I was listed in every little black book on campus under Flo Harrigan, the girl most likely to. 24-hour service. $20 an hour. I don't believe it. Believe it. Some girls work their way through college selling magazines. I sold me. I don't want to hear it. It's a success story with a bang finish. It's lucky my mother hated breastfeeding or I'd been alcoholic before I could walk. Finally killed her. Every Sunday, drunk or sober, she'd give me the same lecture. Girl, you gotta go to college. Because without an education, you either end up a big mouth housewife or a big ass whore. My freshman year, she dropped dead, smack in the middle of praying to win a fortune in the Irish sweepstake. I sure didn't intend to be a big mouth housewife, so I went to work. Graduated with a master's degree in Manning. Why did you want me to know? I don't know. God, you're beautiful. I miss you. Time is playtime, night or daytime, from volleyball to dice games, lots of nice games, or play a bit of cricket, if you've a wicked, or play a wrong, doesn't everybody, baby, simply name your recreation, any game at all, observation or participation, something for everybody, been around the pool girls, even school girls, and little boys and big boys, if you dig boys, the mamas and the teenies in their bikinis all look the same if they got a body. Bet you who can try your hand at fishing if you're so inclined. Look at all the fish on exhibition. Something for everybody at the house of fingers. For the swingers, a doggy for the square set. Rocking chair set from popping coach to popcorn. Our bag is full of something for everybody.
And I want you to call my wife at home. No, tomorrow. The interest rates are going up in construction. It gives us a chance to get that paving contract. If we can finance it ourselves, we'll Mary, get a deal. Come. Right. One tomato juice, straight. Well, did you think it over? I found the secret formula. If you look and smell right, if your hair is the right color, if you drive the right car, smoke the right cigarette, if your bosom is big and firm and fully packed and your breath is sweet and your teeth are bright, then you'll find love, marriage, and be happy forever. If, if you promise never, but never to grow old. Why not? It's the American dream. I thought that was money. Love and money are related by marriage. Daddy, what's marriage? Business, big business. U.S. economy depends on marriage. Not U.S. steel? Marriage. Once people saved up to get married. Now there's credit. Credit means buying. That means stores, shipping, building, factories. Marriage means sex, beauty, luxury. Diamonds, furs, perfumes, cars. Gifts for her, gifts for him, gifts for them. Marriage means a home. That means painters, plumbers, carpenters, furniture, rugs, and curtains, <laughs> linen, soup, and dishes. Electric washers, dryers, mixers, fixers, stoves, clocks, radios, TVs. $30 billion every year just to get married. If marriage is made in heaven, a broken marriage is financial blasphemy. Bachelors, divorcees, widows, and homosexuals are unprofitable. And that makes them un-American. <laughs> Lose it slowly. It might be un-American, but I love that man. A hundred dollars, I can't take that. Rule one, married or not, never gamble with your own money. A hundred dollars for the chips, please. Six star way. Denver's calling. Oh, thank you. Hello? Six the hard way. Oh, I'm fine, really. Oh, it's beautiful here. Hot and lovely. I, I met a friend. She let me see money. Bye, Rick. You had to ask, didn't you? Yeah. All right. Bye. Behave yourself. No drinking. Stick to the meta juice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank, thank you. The roulette is a tedious, no? I agree. You see, gambling is for bored men and uh, lonely women. Enrico, do a champagne. Excuse, I, I am not molesting, huh? <laughs> no. Bellissima. And I knew at once you would be shy. Bravo. A beautiful woman can afford to be modest. Uh -huh. I am, how you say, in, in the hair, huh? Uh, no, I'm sorry, but uh, you sound like that Italian actor. Um, uh... Marcello? Yeah. <laughs> See, he also finds it amusing. <laughs> hey, grazie. Keep it. You know him? Gee, Marcello, the brother. I make him famous to the world. Small man. Come. Uh, you belong? Oh, yeah. Don't tell me he came through the telephone. He clicked his lighter and said, the roulette is tedious, no? 
It's tedious, yes. He knows Marcello. Even sounds like him. Dandy. Am I being silly? Fourteen, Red. No, baby. I think he's... very young. He's been there and back. Have fun. I, uh, I think I'm scared. Twenty-six black. You've never had a... Nobody? <laughs> Not once in 16 years? My God. You belong in a museum. Oh, I forgot my glasses. I won't even see what's happening. It's better with your eyes closed. I've forgotten what to say or do. Say nothing. Do everything. Double zero. Hey, Marcello! The news. I add a photography, I create the text, and then they publish in the magazine, like Life magazine. Paris Match, Esquire, Playboy. You have seen, yes? Oh, yes, the naked ladies. <laughs> well, sometimes, a Lola, a Sophie, a Brigitte, you know, but that's tiring a business. I like better the serious work. The biographia, come uh, De Gaulle, uh, Sinatra, Liz and Dick, uh, Khrushchev, Truman. Oh, a great president. Capote, also great. Oh, I envy you. Prego. You work. Oh, you mean the flying gear and the racing around there and the palaces, the submarines, things like that, you mean, yes. Well, the boring women with the boring bodies and hired old men with foolish and bizarre notions. La Dolce Vita. <laughs> Capri, the Riviera, Vegas, Hollywood. It's very sad, very nothing. Here's looking at you, kid. Are you here professionally? Si. Someone famous? No. The rich young girls in their merry pop-out bikinis. <laughs> Nonsense. Nudity is passé. The rich are rude and the young are gauche. The articolo, that's the story, huh? It's perhaps you. <laughs> Why not? The legend of how you say the mature married woman. She's exciting. She's uh, alluring. Mysterious. So much to a... Uh, Give so little to ask, huh? Excuse me, this is where I work. Much married uh, or little? Long married. Perhaps I saw you in a dream, eh? Oh, that's nice. Mm. A nice dream. American husbands are so blind. Always they wish to remember the way love was. But nothing is the way it was. Not even then. Remembering is the end of love. Love is always now. Why did you leave him? Did you love him? Ellen? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Was there love? In the beginning? Oh, yes. Before he's becoming a millionaire. No millionaire. Not rich? Not.
Sorry, lady, wrong number. I'm sorry to lose your lovely accent. Oh, there's plenty more. Would you like to hear me say something in Cockney? I was about to rush, huh? No, no, you would much prefer something in French. Straight out of the movies. They're all passable fakes, just like, uh, like the job the reporter did. Like this boat. It's borrowed. And the suit I'm wearing is rented. I didn't mind. Lady, I'm a bum. Hustler from L.A., down on his luck. One long run of rotten luck. I've been like a, like a goddamn service station, all kinds of bras from all over the world. Gas them up, grease the parts, charge the batteries. Hello, goodbye. That service with a smile. Who's next? Jesus, lady, I'm 34, my hair's falling out, and you were my long shot. For a while there, we had something nice going. Something... Sorry, lady, but... I can't afford to waste it. Lady, I used to be a pistol. Bang, bang, load, reload. No. Anyhow, I gotta save it, in case. I mean, what, what, what if something finally turned up and I couldn't make the scene? Hmm. I'd say we've both got the shitty end of the stick, huh? Hey! What for? Ciao, Marcello. When did she take these pills? Sometime tonight. How many pills did she take? Did she have anything to drink with? She drinks vodka. Let's sit you up. Come on, let's see if we can get. Come on, let's see if we're doing all right. Let's get up here. There you are. Now you're up. All right, just stay there. Vodka and second all. Marriage on the rocks. Open up real wide. Don't get us a buck right now. That's good. Open up wide. I want you to swallow this. Just, just swallow it. Just swallow it as it goes down. Just swallow it. Keep swallowing. Swallow. Don't inhale. Just swallow it. Swallow it too. Open up wide and swallow it. Swallow it. That's it. No coughing, no breathing. All right. It really is bad. All right. Open up once more. Just kind of hold it on down. Just an accident. It's gonna be all right. You see. I don't want you to worry about it at all. Agnes. How is she? Huh? It was an accident. Sure it was, honey. Where's Mr. Wilson? He went to Reno. Me? Business. I left his number for Mrs. Wilson. You knew she was coming home? Just in case. 
What's she doing at that health farm anyway? Oh, I know my girl. It was just a silly accident, that's all. Is she going to be all right? Of course she will. Our family's always had perfect health. Always. All she ever had was measles. You need rest. I could have been resting forever. How do you know? Agnes? You look pretty good, considering. I feel so stupid. Face Marge and Mama. Not now. Oh, they're okay. They keep saying it was an accident. How else would anyone swallow 28 sleeping pills? Happens to everybody. How'd the other thing go? The operation. You mean there's no difference? You never needed a facelift. You're the only one who don't believe you're beautiful. Why'd the mister let you do it? didn't know. It still doesn't. I was going to let him think the miracle happened on the fat farm. He'd take one look at me and fall in love all over again. I got back. Nobody home. If only somebody had been there. I opened a bottle. Turned on TV. Found your note. Found him in Reno and, and... And you found out. You knew he was having a thing? I take them kind of things for granted. She's so damn beautiful. Just available. She just happened to be there. <laughs> Wouldn't you know he'd do it with a client instead of a friend? wasn't funny a few hours ago. Wasn't that important either. Did you let him get away with it? What's he got away with? Not even tell him you know. Oh, honey, if sex was the only thing that really mattered, the whole world would be run by rabbits. about one of those marriage counselors. Honey, we don't have that kind of a problem. Maybe a psychiatrist. Ever not, went to not one? Not that. It's definitely out. The only thing wrong with us is... Is me. I'm me. You know, honey, what I think you need is some kind of a hobby. Painting, ceramics, or... How about karate? <laughs> anyway, in a couple of years, Marge is going to be married, and we're going to be free. Free to do what? Free to do the things we want to do. Travel. What am I talking about? A couple of years. This weekend, we're going to go on a second honeymoon. Back to the same place.
time to be born and a time to die, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. Amen. Amen. Daddy? Beautiful. Look at her lines. Great in bed, too. your skin? Why wrinkle? Inside she was crying till she lost 105 pounds. 105 pounds? Are you tired, depressed, defeated? Not me, kid. When I wake up in the morning, I'm already ahead of the game. Hello? Hello? Alexander? Wilson, please. Mrs. Wilson? I see. Uh, is he busy for lunch? I see. Is he busy after lunch? I see. No, no message. No. That's what I got. I got the blah. Perfect day for it. If you're an Aquarius, ideal day to be creative. Do things. America, America, God his on me. And proud I could with $1,421 for clothes in one day? Where's the money coming from? Well, answer me. There'll be no more charge. No checks, no credit. You understand? Do you understand? I'll take that off.
Which of this stuff is yours? I said take it off! Again, please. seasons and the times of your days, all the nickels and the dimes of your days, let the reasons and the rhymes of your days all begin in And what's asleep in your eyes? It may take a kiss or two. Through all of my life, summer, winter, spring, and fall of my life, all I ever will be gone.
Stand up straight, please. Stand up straight. Heel to toe. Being recorded and filmed for possible use in court. Heel to toe. Heel to toe. I'm forgiven my credit card. Nice. Where's Sam? Gone. Kind of sudden. Mm -hmm. I never ask why he's going or where he's been. His business comes first, his family second. I'm third. Never expect to see him holidays. That's when he plays daddy. Never call his home, no matter what. Never knock his wife. Never say no. But when he is with me, it's because he wants to be and not because he has to. <laughs> what do you do between time? I go to school. Day school, night school. All I do is go to school. I can name the 50 states and their capitals. Madagascar is an island off the east coast of Africa. <laughs> I'm the best informed trollop in America. <laughs> Fact. I know exactly where I've been. Fact. I'm damned if I know where I'm at or where I'm going. They say you never know a man until you sleep with him. Who ever said that? Nobody knows anybody. Oh, we can fly to the moon, all right. But we don't know the first thing about marriage or even where we fall in love. <laughs> Why do we say fall in love? What is it, a, a fall from grace or something? <laughs> Want to know the truth? The truth is, nobody wants to know the truth. But I do. Bellaccia. Bellissima. Tell me, you are uh, much uh, married? Or little. Yes. Tonight, tonight I think I'll show you where I work.
We're getting married. I've got to try it. Once, anyway. Am I crazy? People in love are crazy. Oh, boy. Am I crazy? What about her? Family? She gets the house, insurance, cash, alimony. Even if she marries the man she's living with. <laughs> Have we really got a chance? Oh, a lot of people make it. How do I make it last? Oh, I wish I knew. You're a lucky man. Thanks for everything. Where are you going? Home! you good. Sure you want to go through with this? I'm sure. Got you two rooms and a bath. Six-month lease. I'll move the rest of your clothes over tomorrow. How did they take it? Kind of shook them up. Marge ain't made a phone call since. I'll bet. Mr. Wilson comes home early and mopes around. They babysit each other. And Mama? Tiger. Waiting to cross-examine. Why? Give me one good reason why. It's better this way. Better? Who for? To break up a home is better. Better than what? What's he done? Kill somebody? Rob a bank? What? He was a good father. A good husband. He loves you. Is that a reason to leave home? We're not happy. What kind of happy? Who's happy all the time? You were. Who said so? You and Papa were perfect together. Perfect. Till the day he died. Like a storybook. That's where marriage is perfect. In a storybook. Your father was not perfect. And I wasn't half as good. I never heard an angry word. A game we played. For your benefit. Thank you. 
Never knew night school did such big business. Mostly women trying to keep up with their husbands. There's a lot you can't learn in Dr. Spock or a cookbook. How's it feel to be one of the working class? <laughs> what do you think I've been for 16 years? Most women are satisfied to be housewives. Or pretend to be. Don't you get lonely? Sometimes. Almost as lonely as when we were together. What happened anyway? We had everything going for us. No war to keep us apart. No mother-in-law problem. No money problem. No sex problem. <laughs> so what happened? We suggest that we got married. It can't be that. Marriage puts an end to love. All our friends are married, and they're happy. Or seem to be. All right, they put up with it. But without marriage, life would be disorganized, crazy. People in love are crazy. Yes, but they grow up. They just settle down. Perhaps they just settle. Surrender. Is that why you ran away? For love? Is it someone else? Do I know him? That is the most romantic thing you've said in years. To me, anyway. Was that what happened? That night, in the hospital, sleeping pills. I was in Reno. But you never said anything. Neither did you. But you loved me after that. I still do. If we both feel the same way, that's all that matters. What matters most, yes. But it's not all, and it's not enough. Hey. Hey. I love you, same as ever. 
we're not the same anymore. Come home. If, if right now we were not married, if you were free, would you marry me again? <laughs>